If you love sports, then you're loving this season. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jensen McKee, and this is the NN Now. And I'm Alyssa Carter. Both college and professional football are underway, but that isn't the only big sports news. Let's go to ENN Sports Director J.J. Stinn for the latest. The first two weeks of college football wrapped up last weekend, and as expected, OU and OSU are still undefeated. In OU's first game, they dismantled Arkansas State 73-0. In their second, they struggled early against SMU, but ultimately pulled out the win. The Pokes didn't have a great first two weeks using three different QBs in both games. They struggled against Central Arkansas and against Arizona State. They did much of the same, although they did pitch a second half shutout against the Sun Devils. The NFL season also began this weekend with many blowouts and close games. Football wasn't the only big thing happening in sports over the weekend. Thunder players old and new shined in the FIBA tournament. Shea Gilgis Alexander, the Thunder's biggest star, along with defensive anchor Lou Dort, won a bronze medal against Team USA. Shea also earned all-star honors for his excellent performance during the tournament. Many other Thunder players also played, those being Davis Bertans for Latvia and Jack White and Josh Giddy for Team Australia. Giddy also earned an award for his performance, earning the Rising Star accolade. Former Thunder player Dennis Schroeder brought home a gold medal for his country, Germany, as well. There's another big storm brewing in the Atlantic. Hurricane Lee is expected to carry some tropical storms and is currently en route to the East Coast. It is expected to stay in the ocean, but the east coast should have lots of rain. It formed at 5 a.m. Monday, and we are expecting it to approach the east coast around 2 a.m. on Saturday. It will start with speeds over 110 miles per hour, but on Thursday morning, it will decrease to around 74 miles per hour before completely dissolving. As summer comes to a close, here's Tulsa's Journey Isaac with the upcoming cooler temps. According to the National Weather Service, in Norman, there are much cooler temperatures coming to the state this week. Averaging in the high 70s to low 80s, there, are, there is potential for severe weather in southwest Oklahoma on Monday evening as rain moves in. Rainfall forecast is two to three inches in most parts of the state. This week, with Monday and Thursday bringing the most rainfall, there is a slight flood risk in the southern half of the state. With your weather, I am Journey Isaac. There's a controversy brewing over an Oklahoma City area principal. For details, here's ENN's Jocelyn McKee. State Superintendent Ryan Walters calls for a Western Heights Elementary School principal to be fired because of the principal's past performances as a drag queen. Walters has stated that parents are worried that their kids will be exposed to what he calls woke left-wing indoctrination. Walters said in an online video quote, this gender theory that continues to be thrust upon our kids is completely inappropriate. Western Heights has yet to respond to Walter's comments. Country star Zach Bryan was arrested here in Oklahoma after he was pulled over by a highway patrol officer. Here, ENN's Jada Childress is in Tulsa for, with more information. Country star Zach Bryan was arrested and briefly put in jail last Thursday. According to the Associated Press, Bryan's security guard was pulled over in Vanita. Brian said he stepped out of the car to smoke and refused to get back in when told to by the officer. Brian said he got too lippy with the officer and mouthed off like an idiot. Court records don't show any formal charges filed at this time. Reporting in Tulsa, I'm Jada Childress. The 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre officially resulted in 36 deaths according to Oklahoma Bureau of Vital Statistics. But the search for bodies continues this week with new grave sites being excavated at Oak Lawn Cemetery. This new site is less than half a mile away from last week's site, named after Clyde Eddy. An astronomical oddity is heading towards us. ENN's John Kitchen has details on what you could see in the skies soon. If you look up to the skies in the upcoming days, you might have the chance of spotting the Green Comet. The Green Comet is a space rock noticed back in August by space photographer Hideo Nishimura. The comet has only gotten brighter as it's coming closer to Earth with beliefs that Tuesday it may, it may come as close as 77 million miles. It is believed that this comet comes once in every 500 years, last seen in 1590. It's almost fair season in Oklahoma. Renee Collins joins us in Tulsa with a look at our community calendar. 
There are plenty of fun activities for those in Tulsa and Oklahoma City areas. The Oklahoma State Fair, the place to be in 23, kicks off on Thursday in Oklahoma City for 11 days. The Tulsa State Fair follows on September 28th and will be in town until October 8th. Both fairs will include plenty of exciting rides, food, and activities for the whole family. For all the music fans, the Born and Raised Festival will take place in Pryor from September 13th to 16th. It will feature acts such as Gary Allen and Whiskey Myers. Chicago will make its appearance at the Riverwind Casino on September 15th. This is your Oklahoma Community News. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us. And be sure to keep checking our website and social media pages for more news from our team of student journalists.